In the realm of intrigue and whispered secrets, a haunting enigma looms, casting a shadow over the untimely demise of Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad al Maktoum. Some suggest that dark forces conspired to extinguish the flaming of a rising star. Some speak of hidden rivalries and treacherous alliances, casting doubts upon the surface of Dubai's political landscape. In this video, we'll delve into mysteries and surrounding the death of a young leader, a death that shocked the world. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, also known as Sheikh Rashid, was a prominent member of the ruling family of Dubai and a key figure in the development and modernization of the city. He was born on November 12, 1981, as the son of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Dubai. Sheikh Rashid possessed a dynamic and visionary spirit from a young age. He pursued his education in Dubai and later attended the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom, where he honed his leadership skills and embraced a sense of discipline. Upon his return to Dubai, he actively engaged in various governmental and private initiatives to contribute to the growth and prosperity of the city. As chairman of the Dubai Culture and Arts Authority, Sheikh Rashid played a significant role in promoting and preserving the rich cultural heritage of Dubai. He was passionate about the arts, literature, and music, striving to establish Dubai as a vibrant hub of cultural activities. His efforts led to the expansion of art galleries, the establishment of cultural festivals, and the nurturing of local talent. Sheikh Rashid was also deeply involved in the sports sector. He supported numerous sporting events and initiatives with a particular focus on equestrian sports. He was an accomplished endurance rider and represented the UAE in various international competitions. The young Sheikh had a wide range of economic interests and was also chosen president of the UAE Olympic Committee. He was a partner in a bank, a real estate company, and an investment firm. There have also been unsubstantiated rumors that Sheikh Rashid sought treatment for his drug usage and spent time in rehab. However, the royal was informed six years after receiving his Sandhurst diploma that he would never succeed his father and that instead, his younger brother Hamdan would be the crown prince of Dubai. The official explanation was that Hamdan was just more qualified for the position than his older brother, but nefarious rumors were beginning to circulate behind the scenes. Tragically, Sheikh Rashid's life was cut short when he passed away on September 19, 2015, at the age of 33. His sudden demise left the city of Dubai and the UAE in mourning as they mourned the loss of a young leader with immense potential and a genuine love for his people. The only official information provided was the announcement of a three-day period of mourning. However, if you were able to read between the lines, you could sense that something was off. What specifically led to the passing of a healthy young man who in 2006 had won two gold medals in the equestrian discipline at the Asia Games? Many people think that this episode served as an impetus for Sheikh Mohammed, just to remove his first son and install his second son, Sheikh Hamdan, as his successor. Without a doubt, living the party boy lifestyle didn't help much either. A private note sent back to Washington by the U.S. consulate in Dubai explained the rationale for the change in succession. Acting Consul General David Williams stated in the diplomatic cable that was hacked and made public by WikiLeaks. It is alleged that Rashid killed an assistant in the ruler's office, forfeiting his opportunity to be heir. Since the 2011 allegations first appeared, Sheikh Rashid was seldom ever been in the news or discussed. His reported drug use has not been addressed by Sheikh Rashid's family either. In actuality, the family has never in the media refuted any of the claims or accusations. The hypothesis that Rashid was in Yemen at the time of his death has stirred up even more debates. 
There is a chance that Rashid was also killed in the Houthi missile strike since footage showing him in Yemen's Marib province at the time of the attack, which claimed the lives of 45 UAE soldiers, has been made public. He allegedly died in Yemen while fighting in a special operations team that had been sent there, according to many Yemeni sources. The Sheikh was reportedly discovered deceased in his residence. Although the Emirates claim the 33-year-old died of a heart attack, it is undoubtedly not yet the complete tale. It is almost certain that Sheikh Rashid's true fate will never be revealed by the notorious secretive Zabil Palace. Only time may reveal the secrets obscured by the passage of days, and until then, Sheikh Rashid's legacy stands as a testament to the enigmatic nature of his untimely end. The tale of his passing is etched into the annals of history, a tale whispered in hushed tones, forever cloaked in mystery, waiting to be unraveled by those with the courage to confront the unknown. Sheikh Rashid's legacy lives on through the positive impact he made during his short but impactful life. His dedication to promoting culture, arts, and sports continues to inspire others to this day. He is remembered as a visionary leader who left an indelible mark on the development and cultural fabric of Dubai, marking his name in the history of the city and the hearts of his people. Enjoyed this video? Do make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time!